Hello students. In this section, we will discuss intermediate chemistry practical examination pattern. Chemistry practical maximum marks 30. In lab, the three experiments are there. Salt analysis, volumetric, and organic part. Salt analysis goes to 10 marks, volumetric is 8 marks, and organic 6 marks. Record 2 marks, project work 2 marks, and viva 2 marks. So, salt, volumetric, and organic. Three parts, experimental part. Here, the 20, the first one, how to take the salt analysis? 24 salts are there. These 24 salts are water soluble salts. All are simple salts. Simple salts means that can contain only one cation and one anion. One cation and one anion is present. This cation and anions, how to identify? Cations and anions are to identify. So by using the preliminary test, how to identify the whatever the cations and whatever the anions are present in a given salt. The salt analysis is the 10 marks. Preliminary test two marks and identification of anion and confirmation of anion goes to four marks and these two, three marks and this correct salt report, one mark. So based on the observation, that is the preliminary test, how to identify the what type of cations and what type of anions are there? Initially, how to predict? So I'll explain how to identify the cations and anions by using the preliminary test. The preliminary tests are four. One is physical state. And the second one is color. Third one, flame test. And the fourth one is action of heat. Action of heat. So all are generally the solids, the physical state is solid. So by observing the cation color, how to identify the what type of cations are available in the given salts. So in 24 salts, how to identify the some salts by using colors. If the color of the salt is blue, that Salt contain copper ion, Cu plus 2. Either it may be copper nitrate or copper sulfate. If the salt is present in a pink color, the chloride that is that can contain manganese ion, Mn plus 2. And this type of 
substances are there. This is also the pink color. That is manganese sulfate. So this is the manganese chloride, pink color with little bit large size of the particles are there. That is manganese chloride. Powder with pink color. That is a manganese sulfate. And light green color is there. That is the ferrous Fe plus two. So the anion we have to directly have to identify because only one salt is there in the ferrous salt. Ferrous sulfate only SO four minus two. And dark green color is present at that time. That is Ni plus two. And here also the dark green color is present. At that time, only the nitrate ion is there in our smokers. NO3 minus. So based on only color, how to identify one, two, three, four, five, six salts. So in 24, how to identify the six salts by using color. At the same thing, when how to take the flame test and action of heat. The remaining salts is also how to predict it. By using the flame test, whatever the salt is there, that salt how to taken into the watch glass. For that one, how to add the hydrochloric acid and paste. That paste how to put into the flame, you are getting the bluish green color. bluish green color is appeared that indicates uh, the given salt contain copper plus two. So without doing this experiment, already you know that is belongs to copper plus two because of the color of the salt is blue color. And the next one, Barium salts. So these barium, calcium, and zinc salts, how to identify based on the flame test. If you are getting the apple green color, apple green color is flame is observed. So this type of flame is observed that can be contained Ba plus 2 ion. So either it may be barium acetate, barium bromide, barium chloride, or barium nitrate. If the calcium salts are available, when how to put the paste of the salt in the flame, this blue flame is converted to brick red color. Brick red color is appeared, the flame, that flame, that flame indicates that the given salts contain calcium ion. All these are the colorless. All are white color, but that gives the flame test. Either brick red color is obtained, either it may be calcium chloride and calcium nitrate. Calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate salts are not there in the syllabus. Here, The flame gives crimson red color. Crimson red color is appeared at that time. That is the strontium ion. Strontium ion, only one salt is there. That is strontium chloride and zinc salts. Green flashes are obtained in flame test. Green flashes are developed at that time that can be contained Zn plus 2 ion and only one salt is there that is sulfate salt. So these are the flame tests. 
So by using this flame test, how to identify the what type of cations are there in the given salt. The next to go to the action of heat. So when how to take chloride, bromide salts are there. So here when how to take the test tube and take the some amount of the salt, you know how to heat at this one. Sublimation is occurred. So this is sublimation. Here the salt is there. The salt evaporated. Sublimation means solid is directly converted to gas without the formation of the liquid. Ammonium chloride, ammon only ammonium bromide are sublimated. But these are not sublimated. This gives the ammonia smell. Ammonia smell is observed. If the ammonia smell is observed, that indicates that either it may be ammonium sulfate, ammonium acetate or ammonium if the sublimation is occurred, that may be either ammonium chloride or ammonium bromide. So based on this sublimation, how to identify cation as well as anion. Sublimation is occurred, either it may be ammonium chloride or ammonium bromide. Ammonia smell is observed, either ammonium sulfate, ammonium acetate and ammonium carbonate. And the next one, aluminum salts. Only the nitrate salts are there. Allu lead nitrate is present at that time, how to heat it. Reddish brown vapors are evolved. So based on this one, the salt contain lead nitrate. So generally, the nitrate gives the reddish brown vapors. So aluminum and aluminum sulfates, these are not identified by using preliminary tests. And magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfates is also not identified by using the preliminary test. So these salts are converted to liquids. So that's why these are called as a Hydrated salts. Hydrated salts. These salts are considered as a hydrated salts. So in next video, we will discuss identification and confirmation of anions. For getting of more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.